Acoustics are insignificant. Even when we don't realize it, every room that we stand in has its own specific room acoustics. We might perceive them as good, bad, suitable, or unsuitable. Unfortunately, acoustics are usually first discussed when they're brought to our attention for negative reasons. A user scenario with particularly high demands is the multi-person office. A room without furniture and without acoustic materials sounds extremely reverberant, loud, and unpleasant. Office activity is simply not possible in such a scenario. A lot of modern architecture also uses materials that are acoustically hard. And without additional acoustic materials, the room's acoustic situation is inadequate. Sound absorbent materials can improve such scenarios. Carpet reduces the reverberation time of high frequencies. This significantly improves the situation, but it's still not ideal. Additional absorbers have an effect on all frequency ranges and most certainly make a noticeable difference. An office like this can already be utilized. But wait, it gets better. Further absorbers on the walls and furniture create an office situation in which every word is effortlessly understood. A good room acoustic plan combines various materials that take the room's acoustic properties into consideration. The beauty of it? An acoustic object can have several solutions, and with that, several designs. But a high speech comprehensibility isn't everything. In multi-person offices, there are often conversations that we just don't want to hear at all. The discussions of other colleagues can be both annoying and distracting. The distractions from the conversations of others can be effectively diminished by using acoustic screens. Screens have an optimal effect when they themselves are sound absorbent, but even a screen made from glass can shield direct sound. If the screens are too low, however, they will have hardly any shielding effect. What locations are useful for acoustic screens and what locations should allow for the maintenance of direct visual contact depend largely on the use of the office space itself. The reduction of distractions from conversation, however, is accomplished with acoustic screens that have sufficient dimensions. As you've heard, acoustics are most certainly not insignificant. A room with good acoustics is the result of room acoustics planning and is determined by the particular materials placed within the space. The good news? These can be planned. It's most certainly worthwhile to visualize your acoustics.